Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you some rare, discontinued and hard to find Sylvanians that I managed to find on eBay. So in this video I'm going to show you seven different Sylvanian families, figures and families that I've managed to find and I'm so happy with them and I'm so lucky to be able to find them on eBay. So we've got my dream figure that I think every Sylvanian collector would probably want. I've got a really rare family that is also really sought after, some families and figures that I missed out on when I was younger that I really wanted and then they got discontinued unfortunately, but then I've managed to find them now. My first ever used figures, I know, as I normally only buy brand new ones, but I managed to find some used ones that are in perfect condition. And yeah, I'm so excited to show you them all. So the first one that I'm going to show you is one of the most expensive things I've ever bought and definitely the most expensive Sylvanian. And she's just behind me now. It's Giant Freya. So I was so lucky to find her on eBay and she is in really good condition. She's just a little bit dusty on her head but I think you can't see it that much and she does have a bit of an injury on her ear but apart from that she's perfect, her dress is in perfect condition she's just amazing and also she's really heavy she's definitely heavier than I thought she would be it was really quite awkward trying to get her into the corner here but she is just amazing, like my life is now complete I've always wanted a giant Freya and now here she is. Every time I come in here, I say hello Freya. Well, I, has, I say hello to all the Sylvanians as well. But I also say hi everyone, hi all Sylvanians, hello Freya. And she's just amazing. I can't believe it. Like, I just have to come in here and look at her to know that she's still here and that she's real. It is just amazing. And also, I was really lucky to find her for a good price because I've seen them go on eBay before for thousands or like 800 really expensive and I do think I probably I well I wouldn't want to pay that much but if I had seen one in good condition that much I probably would so I was lucky that I actually found her I think she was like 425 with 50 pound delivery which is fair enough because she needed a massive box and she's really heavy so I was really happy with her she's just so cool I love her I think as I recently passed my apprenticeship, then this is my little treat to myself for passing. And then my second most wanted thing, which was something that I always wanted at the time and I just missed out on it. I think I either bought something else or I was going to buy it and then it got discontinued, unfortunately, and I've always wanted them. It is the pig triplets. They are so adorable. What I really love about them is their little bandanas. They are so adorable because I already have the pig family and the children in that family have bandanas and the sister does as well if I can find her. Here she is with her watering can. <laughs> they both have bandanas as well. So just to have them all with their little bandanas, it just makes me so happy. They are so adorable. And also, although you wouldn't know it, these are actually used. So I've been looking for a couple of days, maybe a week, and looking every day to see, are there any pig triplets? No. And then I saw these, and it said used. And I was like, oh, but I really want them. So I messaged the seller to see what condition they were in, were they? good because there was only a photo from the front and I thought I don't know what they look like behind if they have like scratch marks on the head or anything and she told me that they were in perfect condition as they were from a collector but not really been played with so I thought that is perfect so yeah I managed to get these and I'm just so happy with them because you wouldn't know that they've been used they do look as good as new so here we have little minor and tiny grump they are so adorable and then sticking with the farm theme i got the frisian cow grandparents 
So I really wanted these to complete my cow family. It's crazy to think, before I had like no cows and then I managed to get from the Sylvanian shop in London, I got the baby and the twins because I only had the uncle before that, the uncle and the aunt. Then I got the babies and then they re-released the family and then I found the grandparents on eBay. So they were quite a bit for what they are, for just being two figures. They were £119, which I know is crazy, but I thought, am I going to get an opportunity to find these again, brand new? And I thought, probably not. So let's spend all my money. <laughs> and yeah, I got them and they are just so adorable. And I thought, yay, the cow family is now complete. But since then, I have discovered... But there is another aunt. I have the aunt that comes with a little ice cream bike. But there is the aunt that comes with the little like market stall with all the vegetables. That I've always assumed it was the same aunt, but that is a different aunt. So we're going to pretend I didn't know she existed and say the cow family is complete. Even though it's actually not. But never mind. I'm so happy to have the grandparents. And we've got loads of figures now. We've got uncle, aunt, grandparents, baby, twins mother, father, sister, brother. So that's a complete enough for me. So this is Angus and Bessie. And they just look so like bright and you can just tell that they're new because I couldn't believe how good their fur looks. Like they do literally look as good as the day they were made, but they are brand new. So you would expect that, but they haven't had any like sunlight damage at all so I'm really happy with those so so far we've got these from 2011 these are 2014 and then again we've got another one this one's from 2010 and this is the chocolate Labrador family it's a family that I've always wanted and again these are brand new although the box has been a bit squished as you can see which is understandable because of the age of the product but I've always wanted this family and they're going to live on my farm as well they are so adorable so here we have these are the, the Hunter Smiths we've got Charles and Camilla and the children Hector and Isabella I think it's so funny that they're called Charles and Camilla like King Charles and the Queen Consort and then because I got the chocolate Labradors I also got the Golden Labradors and you can see on these at the time at the time they were made they were actually $15.99 so these were from a seller that I've got a few things from now and they have quite a lot of X shop stock so they're really good for getting like older flare things and things like that I think it's called CNS Retro Toys is the seller and yeah, so I've got the Golden Labradors because I have the aunt and the cousins already from this family. So I now have the rest of the family. And I was originally going to get it, I think maybe the same seller from the Chocolate Labradors had these as well. But I think they were selling them for 65 or 55 or something like that. Maybe it was another seller, I can't even remember. I've bought so many things off eBay recently. But then I saw these were 35, I think, which I thought is really good because like a normal family these days can be like 20 or 25. So for 35 for a flare family, that's really good. So this is the Barker family. And we have Jerry, Margot, Tarquin and Joe Castor. And then this family is, again, from 2010. Seeing the flare packaging just makes me so happy and, like, nostalgic and just reminds me of my childhood, of getting all those flare boxes at every birthday and Christmas. It just makes me so happy to see it. Like, with the blue sky and the daisies and the grass. It's just so lovely. I think it just goes with the animals so well. Because they just look so, like, I don't know. It just looks so natural with the sky and everything. I just love it. 
And then next up is a really special, really rare family that I think a lot of people want as it was, I think it was only released in one place in Japan. I think it's pronounced Hokkaido or something like that in 2009. But they do pop up on eBay. And that is the Lavender Rabbit family. They are so beautiful. Their little purple tipped ears. So they're like the chocolate rabbits, but purple. They are so gorgeous. So they don't actually have any official names. But I think I will come up with some purple themed names for them. So these are super, super special. And we actually managed to get them just for, I think it was £65. So that was really lucky and I'm so happy with them. And I love their outfits because purple is my favourite colour and they just look so cute. I am a little bit tempted to, once I've taken them out of the box, put them back in to keep them safe. But I don't think I will because you know I never will. I sometimes do. I'll say I will and then I put them back in and then I take them out again and then they never go back in again. But part of me wants to because just to keep those purple ears safe. So I'm worried that they're going to get dirty or like dusty. But I can keep them in my glass cabinet cupboards anyway and they'll be fine. So I'm not going to keep them in the box. But I do love the box as well. Which is partly why I want to keep them in there because it's such a pretty box. But you know me, I'm not going to leave it in the box. <laughs> But I am very thankful to all the inbox collectors that then go on to sell their stuff because then we can buy it brand new again. And then lastly is my first ever used family that doesn't come with a box at all, which I thought is something I would never get. But when I saw the photos of them, I was just so shocked at how good they looked that I thought for 40 quid, that is a bargain. They should be way more than that because they're one of the first families as well from 1988 it's the chestnut raccoon family so we have the mother pansy i love their tails the father derwood i think is how you pronounce it The sister, Myrtle. And the brother, um, Grover. I love that tail so much. They're so cute. And there's more. We have babies. Ricky. We've got and bottle. And this is the reason why I got them. Amy. So I'd seen just the baby Amy on eBay. It was the bid and the starting bid was like £4.50 just for one baby in good condition. And I thought, hmm, because she's called Amy, I might get her. But then I thought, I'll just check, see, had anyone else got her any cheaper or with the family? And then I saw this lot, all six of them for £40. And I thought, that is amazing. And I was looking at the photos and I thought, they aren't dusty, they aren't dirty. Their fur is fine. There's no like marks or scratches or bare, bold patches. Like, they looked amazing, and I thought, how has somebody kept this family since 1988 in this perfect condition, and they don't come with a box? I think they must have been in a box for at least, like, 20 years, and only recently been out of the box. Or the only other thing I can think of is if they've just been in, like, a glass cabinet this whole time to keep the dust off, and they've kept clean that way. If it was more from a collector than a like a child that just played with them and I was just so surprised with them and I thought wow I just have to get them that's just amazing and it's so exciting that now I've started looking on eBay 
that I have kind of seen more tomey things and started collecting tomey stuff, which was something I never thought I'd be able to do. But yeah, it's kind of opened up a whole new world of travelling back in time to Flair, to Tomy, to before I was even born, and getting some amazing Sylvanians. And it just makes me so happy. Like, yes, I've spent all my money, but I'm very happy. I just love it. So this was all just like my little treat to myself, or quite a big treat actually, just for passing my apprenticeship, because the best way to celebrate getting a pay rise is of course to spend all your money. And I'm so happy with them. It's just amazing. And now I need to stop looking on eBay, because <laughs> it is very tempting. But I'm so happy with these and they'll keep me busy a while, for a while with unboxings and adding them into my setups. And yeah, I'm just so happy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!